Hello world, welcome back to Subray 23's Thought Experiment and episode 2 of the Scale and Rotating System. Uh, this episode will be about the system itself. Uh, in order to facilitate the creation of new objects in a scene, uh, without the script attached to it at generation, uh, we're going to need to add the script when the object is instantiated. Um, to do this, we will create a manager class. Now this manager class is really simple in function. We have um, a method called find all game objects. Uh, find all game objects loops through all game objects in the scene. Um, if three conditions are met, then it adds our uh, scale and rotate script or class to the object uh, and changes its tag so it'll be ignored in the next loop. Uh, quick side note. This is built in very inefficiently to keep it simple for now. Uh, we are calling the method at a, uh, at a fixed interval, uh, but far too often. Uh, and this function is searching every game object in the scene. Uh, again, very inefficient. Uh, these are not good practices and will be changed later in this series. Now the conditions we are using in our find all game objects method or A, does the object have a mesh filter? If the, if the object mesh filter is null, meaning it does not exist, uh, we don't need that object. Most likely that means it is an object that has another function, but it doesn't need to be scaled and it doesn't need to be rotated. Um, the second condition is, does it have the tag set scale and rot sys? Um, that brings a second side note right up here in the top corner you see here the two hardest things in programming are cache invalidation and naming things and that's a horrible name and I just thought it was a perfect spot to bring up that point um, the third condition we're using here is does the tag have a cursor or is the tag cursor if the tag is cursor uh, we want to ignore it because that means it is our cursor object or our gaze object um, if all three of these conditions are met, add the component and change the tag to scale and rot sys. Once all that's done, we now have a scalable and rotatable object. Now one last side note, uh, programming is all about solving problems. Quite often there are many different approaches to solve the same problem. Don't let someone tell you your way is wrong if your solution works. Uh, it can be terrible in design and terribly inefficient as well. Um, but that is for your application, and maybe it's what you need. Maybe it's all you need. Eventually you will optimize, hopefully. Now, I'm not saying don't be open to other ideas. Just don't allow the overly critical to get you down. All right, we're back in Unity here. Um, if you notice all my the dark interface here, and I, I have a very non-standard setup, but all the windows should be the same ones that you have, just in different spots. Um, in your project view, go down to Assets, right-click on the word Assets, hit Create Folder, and type Scripts. And we're going to double-click on Scripts. And in here, we're going to create a new script. Uh, so create C sharp script. And we're going to name this scale and R O T S Y S. Notice I'm using uppercase for each new word. And then hit enter. And you'll notice over here we have a basic script with a start and update function for our class scale and rot sys. Now let's click on a manager and click add component. This is another way to create a new script. This is going to be the one that we're actually working on. The scale and rot sys uh, script, um, we won't be doing anything with it this, this episode. I just wanted it there so when we're doing this other script, we're not getting error messages. So we're going to hit new script. And here we're going to call it the scale and rot 
manager. And you see here where it, cre it creates and attaches it to the manager object. But you also notice that if you click over here on assets, it's in our main folder instead of our scripts folder. So we just drag it into our scripts folder. And let's open her up. Here's our main class, uh, or our main man manager class anyways. Uh, this is uh, Scale and Rot Manager. Um, all Unity scripts, uh, when created, all C-sharp Unity scripts, come with the two, um, with the start and the update functions. Uh, start is always used to initialize, and update is called every frame. Now, I don't want it to be called every frame. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it's not very efficient. Uh, so we're going to be using fixed update, which is still not efficient, but it's less updating. Um, but before before we even need that, we need to write our main function. And that function will be called find all game objects. And we're going to have a return type of void. Uh, and we don't we're not passing any variables through. So as we mentioned in the graphic here, we're going to go through and loop through all the, the objects in a scene. And then we're going to assign them based on what we need, you know, based, based on these conditions. Um, we're going to be using a for each loop. We're going to have a game object in resources dot find objects of type type of game object and it's going to be cast as a game object array let me clarify that a game object array so that statement is basically finding all the various game objects in the scene, casting it into a, a game object array, and then this loop is going to uh, search through each one of those game objects. Now, if we... If... Okay, here's, here's the crux of it. If go, which is going to be this specific game object in the loop, uh, get component and remember we are checking to see if there's a mesh filter so if the mesh filter this is a method equals null oops the we had a second condition right so we're gonna have the and and go dot tag equals scale and rot sys and then we had a third condition and that third condition was we're going to again add and the tag does not equal cursor If those three conditions are met, then we go here. If, if you remember correctly, uh, the next part would be we're going to check and make sure that the object it has selected does not already have the scale and rot script attached to it or the class. So we go get component scale and rot sys and so this is because we already went and made that class this is this is here if it equals null then we are going to add it
Then we will change the tag. To scale and rot sis. All right. Let's see. I'm assuming I don't have any errors. Wait, what is that? Oops. Yeah, can't forget that. Go dot tag does not equal. These are our three separate expressions, all separated by and. Um, now we just put and this is the inefficient part really find all game objects in the fixed update we save it control s pull this back up and get your little icon down here letting you know it's recompiling and it seems to be doing something can't tell if it's done or not uh oh well oh maybe it's going okay there we go of course there's nothing really to see here um, but we are going to go ahead come in here to our tag manager we're going to add scale and rot sys save and then we're going to add one more cursor we're going to select our cursor we're going to tag it as cursor and now when I run this hopefully I don't get the error alright so no errors good and that will be it for this episode. Uh, next episode, we should get into the main part uh, of the Scale and Rot Says class. And uh, well, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and all that. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>